national anthem. School Committee, faculty, proud parents, grandparents, friends, and members of the class of 2008. I am honored and proud to share in this special occasion with you, and I extend to you a warm welcome to this evening's graduation exercises for North Reading High School's class of 2008. In recent weeks, I have been giving a lot of thought as to how much our graduates have changed over the years since they first came to North Reading High School. You have grown in stature and confidence. 
You have matured intellectually and grown into fine young men and women. You now have ideas and thoughts that you did not have when you first entered the high school. Your aspirations have no doubt changed and you are now on your way to achieving them. Determination is necessary if you want to make a success of your life. You must be certain of what you want to do and be prepared to work hard to achieve your goals. And as you begin to lay out your dreams for the future, place your happiness at the forefront of all that you do. Do not confuse satisfaction with a high salary or attractive social standing. Real satisfaction, true happiness, lies in feeling that you have made a difference in the lives of others. You may have heard before the expression that there is a time and a place for everything. The concept of a time and a place has no doubt shaped some of the successful events of your life. If what you do is at the right time and in the right place, you raise your chances for success. What you have accomplished today, graduating from high school, is the result of exercising the advice, the right place at the right time. When you leave here this evening, you will take the first symbolic steps outside of North Reading High School. Some of you are going off to work, and others are entering the military, and many of you are headed to college. Whatever your plans for the future, it is my hope that you will never forget your high school experience and the people who helped you to get where you are today. You have, in a sense, created a personal history throughout your high school years. Your education and the community of our school have shaped that history and therefore will always be a part of your story. Remember these experiences and remember the times of difficulty and the times of great success. They will help guide you through future challenges. As time passes, new experiences create new chapters to your personal history, and they will start to play an increasing role in your future. But there will still be moments, especially when you may need it the most, when you will come back to your past, when you will come back to your memories of North Reading High School to gather the strength needed to push forward. Because when you need to know where you are, it is important to look at where you came from. Take pause and cherish where you are today. As you graduate from high school, today is a day for celebration. Today, you can say, I did it. When you leave here this evening, you will also be leaving behind a part of your life that I hope is very special to you. You will be leaving behind some of your friends who shared your fun and laughter. You will be leaving behind teachers who took a keen interest in you. You will also be leaving behind a world where others have made many decisions for you. But in witnessing your growth and the changes in you since you first entered North Reading High School, I am very confident that you are capable of making good and responsible decisions. You will no doubt make mistakes, and learning from them is important. And when you make a mistake, know that you will find comfort, for, comfort from the care and concern of your family and friends. Know that they will always be there to love and support you. There is a story that I once heard about a man who was angry with his small child for wasting a roll of toilet paper to wrap a holiday gift. The child wanted to wrap a present for the upcoming holiday, but couldn't find wrapping paper, so toilet paper became the solution. The father became angry with his son over the waste of the toilet paper. Nevertheless, the child brought the gift to his father and said, this is for you, Daddy, and he handed his father the wrapped box. The father was embarrassed by his overreaction and opened the box only to find it empty. Confused, the father thought it necessary to scold his son again and instruct him that when a gift is presented, it should never be empty. The child, with tears in his eyes for having been reprimanded, looked at his father and said, it's not an empty box, Daddy. I blew kisses in it for you. The father was crushed. He put his arms around his child and he begged forgiveness. It is told that the father kept that box by his bed for the rest of his life and that when he was discouraged, he would take out an imaginary kiss to remember the love of the child who put it there. Let your experiences of your past, the friends you have made, the love of your family, and your best times at North Reading High School be your box next to the bed. Have the ability to recognize when it is the right place and the right time to do something. Congratulations on your graduation. Take pride in your accomplishments. Remain proud to be a Hornet. And know that you will always be welcome at North Reading High School. Thank your parents and family members for their love and support. And visit us to share your developing story, your developing personal history. It is my sincere hope that you will find great success, peace, and happiness in all that you do. And may God bless you throughout your life. It is now my pleasure to introduce to all of you our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. David Troughton.
Thank you, Mr. Bernard. And greetings and congratulations to our class of 2008. You are the 51st class to graduate from North Reading High School. And as superintendent of schools in North Reading, it is my honor to extend my best wishes and sincere congratulations to each of the members of the class of 2008. And it's a joy for your families and friends and teachers to gather here this evening to recognize this important milestone in your life and to celebrate your accomplishments and to wish you well as you leave North Reading High School. From high school to high school, from town to city across America, the traditions of high school graduation are celebrated each year with familiar regularity. There's a certain formality to this ritual. The faculty leads the parade of graduates before the entire community. The national anthem is played and sung. Words of welcome, good wishes and wisdom are spoken, and finally diplomas are conferred. And when the chair of our school committee, Mr. Webster, hands you a diploma, he does so in recognition of your fulfillment of the graduation requirements established by the North Reading School Committee and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Make no mistake, the standards for graduation in Massachusetts and here in North Reading are among the highest in our nation, and each of you should feel a sense of pride and accomplishment in meeting or exceeding those standards. On behalf of the North Reading School Committee and the School Department, I extend to each of you sincerest congratulations. It's a privilege to present this charge to the graduates and to offer my best wishes to you. While you join the ranks of 50 other classes that have marched across this field, you will always remain connected to North Reading High School and to each other with a special bond as members of the class of 2008. Each of you, in your own way, has forged a link in this bond that will help to define the legacy of your class. Graduation is a time to look backwards as well as forward. Your contributions as individuals and as a class have, and will be in the future, a measure of the legacy of this class. Our school district's mission is to challenge and encourage you to be thinking, creative, and responsible individuals who are committed to excellence, service, and lifelong learning. Your teachers, your parents, and this community are confident that we have accomplished this mission and have set a strong foundation for your success. And as superintendent, I ask you to join me in thanking those individuals who helped you along this journey. Was it a special teacher, a coach, or advisor who taught you new skills and knowledge and inspired you to achieve your personal best? Was it the familiar smile of a school secretary, a paraprofessional, custodian, cafeteria worker, or bus driver who made your day? Whether today, next week, or in the years to come, I hope the memory of these individuals and the time that you spent here remain positive influences in your life. Finally, I would like to recognize the invaluable support of your parents and the entire North Reading community. Your parents in this community have entrusted us with the important work of educating you. One measure of successful schools can be found in the degree of parent and community involvement in schools, and we are extremely fortunate to have this tremendous support in this regard. Thank you. Each year, it's the tradition for the superintendent of schools to deliver the charge to the graduates. And sandwiched between the principal's welcome and the honor SAS, the charge to graduates is designed to allow the superintendent to say congratulations and good luck. And despite the temptations every year for me to reuse one of the charges from previous years, I will at attempt to blend my words of congratulation with a new message and theme. For me, one of the joys of late spring is the first boat ride of the season. My wife and I look forward to taking our boat out on Ossipee Lake in New Hampshire. And despite the high cost of gas, several Sundays ago was the perfect day for this annual event. From the southern end of the lake, the Sandwich Mountains frame the northern view, and the Ossipee Mountains lay to the west. On rare days, when the sky is clear and cloudless, Mount Washington and its surrounding peaks loom on the horizon. Last weekend, the view was stunning. 
snow-covered Mount Washington stood out clearly. And after one of the snowiest records on, on record, winters on record, the snow in Tuckerman's Ravine is deep. One can only imagine what Native Americans thought of this view as they returned to their fishing uh, sites along the shores of Lake Ossipee, or how Darby Field described his first ascent of the mountain in 1642. Henry David Thoreau trekked this region in 1858 and kept a journal of his travels. I'm sure that the scene has remained unchanged for thousands of years, but I wonder what the future holds. The daily news is abound with information about rising fuel prices, going green, global warming, deforestation, melting glaciers, shrinkage of the Arctic ice cap, carbon footprint, carbon exchange trading, and other terms that can't be found in Thoreau's journal. From the debates among our presidential candidates to the concerns about the quality of air at the upcoming Beijing Olympics, the message is clear and a sense of urgency prevails. Have you seen or read Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth? Former Vice President Gore shared the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize for his work on global warming, and his documentary, Inconvenient Truth, received the Academy Award for its stark message. The documentary and the book have galvanized the tension of not only scientists and environmentalists, but, to spark, but sparked a political debate that has no direct answers. As Gore states, the warnings about global warming have been extremely clear for a long time. We are facing a global climate crisis. It is deepening, and we are entering a period of consequences. This call to action is not new. Rachel Carson, in her epical book, Silent Spring, published in 1962, triggered a similar, de similar debate. Carson documented the growing evidence of research on the harmful effects of pesticides and it, on the environment. It is said that Carson launched the environmental movement. Silent Spring, along with Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom Cabin, is considered one of the most influential books leading to change. And more than 45 years ago, Carson's words, I truly believe that we in this generation must come into terms with nature and I think we're challenged as mankind has never been challenged before to prove our maturity and our mastery, not of nature, but of ourselves, remain true for a new generation. It's important for us to protect the environment and the world in which we, we live. These actions we take on a personal and local level have consequences across our globe. At North Reading High School, students have, under the leadership of Ms. Gothier, formed the Eco Team with an effort to raise awareness of ecological issues. North Reading's Lose Weight North Reading program actively promotes the importance of recycling and has reduced our weekly trash. The Little School's Walk to School program focuses attention on personal health and the impact of fuel consumption. Each of these efforts plays an important role. As graduates of the class of 2008, many of you will take paths that will lead you far from North Reading as you pursue varied lives and careers. And despite whatever work you take or wherever you go, I believe it's critical for each of you to take responsibility to protect the world in which you live. It's too easy to say it's not my problem and there's little that you can do. So become informed about environment, in, environmental issues and learn how to make a difference. Be that change. And think green as well as go. Best wishes for the future, class of 2008. And again, in the words of Garrison Keillor, that philosopher from fictional Lake Wobegon, be well, do good work, and stay in touch. God bless, class of 2008. It's now my honor to introduce the first of our honor essayists, and I'd like to invite Allison Bitto up. Good evening, administrators, faculty, students, family, and friends and welcome to the class of 2008 graduation ceremony. To say that I'm nervous right now would be an understatement. I've been worried for weeks about what to say, how to be funny, 
and how many people would really be watching. As I thought of topics to talk about, I realized how different we all are. We all have our own personalities, styles, and interests, but we will always be tied together by the fact that we are the North Reading High School class of 2008. Some of, <laughs> Some of us have known each other since preschool or kindergarten. In the last few weeks, I've heard many of you talk about some of the memories that you have shared with other members of our class. Although we are moving on to college and starting a new chapter in our lives, we will always have those memories, like the first person you met when you started school, or the first time you walked into North Reading High School. When I asked the class of 2008 who was their favorite teacher, I got many responses. Mrs. Deesman was described as helpful, understanding, and amazing. Mr. Putnam made learning fun, and I quote, Mr. Ward is one of the greatest teachers of all time, and an, al an all-around great guy. I want to thank all of the teachers who have made a significant impact on our lives. Each one of us has a special teacher that we will remember for their unique teaching style, their funny jokes that really weren't that funny, or the way they made you feel like you were the only student in the room. It is hard to imagine that our years as North Reading students are already over. Think back to the 1990s, when we were just starting school, and all of the trends we helped to set. There are so many differences in television, music, and toys today compared to the 90s. I'm sure you all remember playing with Pokemon cards, Furbies, or Beanie Babies, just to name a few. It may be embarrassing to admit, but we were the kids listening to NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys, the Spice Girls, and Britney Spears. <laughs> it seems like only yesterday we were watching Saturday morning cartoons and shows like Seinfeld, Friends, Boy Meets World, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It is amazing how much things have changed in only 18 years. Some parents may be sitting here thinking how much their child has grown up and others may be thinking how much the gas prices have gone up. In 1990, gas was only $1.34 per gallon, and we all know what it is today. When we were born, the Red Sox had not won a World Series since 1918, and in our high school career, we have already seen two wins. So much has changed since we started school more than 12 years ago. We have learned so much about ourselves and about the world. For me, it has been my parents that have made such a profound impact on my life. Thank you to all the parents, family, and friends for being here tonight. We have made so many amazing friends in North Reading, and this is certainly not the end of the many friendships we have made. It is our time to shine. Congratulations, class of 2008. We finally made it. Now I would like to introduce our second honor essayist, Megan Sperry. Good evening, students, teachers, administrators, family, and friends. If you start counting from the moment we left the middle school, did you know that we have been North Reading high school students for nearly 35,000 hours? This is over 2 million minutes of our lives and over 125 million seconds. Mind you, this does count summers as well. But we were actually in school for approximately 740 days. So what have we done with this time? Well, some of us have spent it at home. Each of us misses an average of seven days per school year, according to the Massachusetts Department of Education. But when we were actually in school, what did we do? I know that I ate my fair share of Mary's cookies. <laughs> Some people in our class buy them every day. If you bought Mary's cookies every single day of high school, with three cookies in a pack, <laughs> then you ate 2,220 cookies in your high school career. <laughs> Surprisingly, the average student who buys a calzone once a week only consumed 80 or so over his or her time at North Reading High School. If you worship this cafeteria favorite like Matt Spina, <laughs> 
and chose to buy two sometimes, you may have eaten closer to 110 or so calzones. As you may remember, the cafeteria only started making calzones our sophomore year. However, we are not graduating high school because we are able to consume the best of the cafeteria food in massive quantities. We are graduating because we worked hard, learned a great deal, and are prepared to move on to more challenging coursework in college or into the workforce. For the class of 2008, approximately 74% of us are going to four-year colleges. 17% are going to two-year colleges, 2% to a career training school, 4% to employment, 2% to a prep school, and 1% to the military. What path do we take to arrive at these major life decisions? During our 740 days of school, what influenced us the most? When we arrived at this school for the first time, we were 14 years old. Many of us had braces. Our parents still drove us everywhere. Most had never had a job. We were awkward little kids that had just finished up middle school. Now we are adults, or we at least wear adult-sized clothing. We can drive and vote and enlist to serve our country. We have a sense of direction for our lives. In our minds, we have some idea of what we want out of life and what we imagine our lives will become. If so much can change in these four years, imagine how different you will be after the next four. What will you be doing and thinking in 2012? I think that one of the biggest influences on our decisions was our teachers. 11% who are North Reading High School graduates themselves. Young and old, methodical and exciting, strict and lenient, these are the people who introduced us to the many subjects we wish to pursue as careers. No matter how frustrated they became with us at some points, they truly do want us to succeed and find something that we are passionate about. According to the Herald News, 25% of students enter college undecided and 85% who are decided switch majors at least once. Even though our teachers have introduced us to subjects that may interest us, we still have a lot of growing to do ourselves in the next four years. Except for the 5% of our class going to Northeastern. You have five years ahead of you. <laughs> no matter how you split up our class into percentages, as a whole, we share one thing, our time at North Reading High School. I hope that I will hear about all the amazing things you will do with your own lives when I see 100% of you at our first reunion. Thank you and good luck everyone. And now I'd like to introduce our third speaker, Ashley Moulton. After four years of high school, we finally did it. And now, with this great milestone, we embark on a new journey that will lead us to the next phase of our lives. There comes time in every young person's life when we must take a leap of faith. When we have to jump off a cliff, not knowing if rock bottom or a watery stream lies below. When we have to decide whether the people we know will become the people we knew. When we have to embrace a new chapter of our lives while remembering the chapters that have come before. Each and every one of us will have different opportunities to make a difference in the world. Just as every rock that falls into a watery stream will adjust its path. Even the smallest things, like a compliment or a hug, can sometimes make the biggest difference. Together at North Reading High School, we have learned not only from our classes, but from family, friends, teachers, and peers who have inspired us. We learned about faith and about putting our trust in the people around us. Together, we united at pep rally to eventually form the GI Joe 8 seniors. We sell <laughs> we celebrated Calzone Thursdays, always anticipating Thursday with great excitement. We enjoyed Mary's cookies and rejoiced at the opportunity to eat lunch in the courtyard as seniors. We attended semi-formal dances and prom. We laughed when we saw the U-Haul truck blocking the entrance to the students' parking lot. We loved any excuse to get out of class, whether for an assembly, the picture of the entire senior class, or a trip to the movies to see Beowulf. <laughs> we, 
We learned that when life closes the door, sometimes you have to look for an open window. When deadlines approached, we scraped for community service hours in the last two weeks and stayed up late trying to finish research papers or projects due the next day. Together, we studied photosynthesis, algebraic equations, vocabulary, and the history of our country. But it was much more than that. We discovered new things about ourselves, about who we are, and who we want to become. I believe that high school is a time when we begin to establish who we really are as individuals. We develop goals that far exceed simply ourselves or our town. We form lasting friendships and unforgettable memories. And then we move on. That is where we take a leap of faith. We learn from our high school experiences, accept who we have become, continue to love the people who have got us to this point, and then we spread our wings and fly. Though life will not always be easy and we will encounter many challenges, we are able to take control of both our journey and our destination. Sometimes there will be a stop sign and we'll have to stop and decide which direction to go. Occasionally we'll have to completely turn around because we've hit a dead end or we'll need to stop suddenly to avoid a crisis. Nevertheless, we leave here both excited about our high school accomplishments and prepared to take a leap of faith, filled with hope for the future. As E.E. E. Cummings once said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. And now, for the two words you're all waiting to hear. In conclusion, <laughs> on behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all the parents who have supported us throughout our high school years, the teachers and guidance counselors, who have taught and advised us, and Principal Mr. Bernard and Assistant Principal Mr. Rosmerick, who have created a great environment to learn and grow. Thank you for listening, and I wish you all the best in each of your life journeys. Good luck, congratulations, and rock on, Class of 2008.
Traditionally, North Reading High School has recognized the graduating seniors with the highest grade point averages as our honor essayists. You have heard from them already, Ashley Moulton, Megan Sperry, and Allison Biddo. Congratulations, ladies. This year, we are initiating what we hope will become a new tradition, the class essayist. Every student in the senior class was invited to submit a speech for consideration. All of the speeches that were submitted were then reviewed by a faculty panel, and one student was selected to represent the class of 2008. I am proud to introduce to you the first class, class essayist of North Reading High School, Alex Hardy. Good evening, parents, friends, faculty, Dr. Troughton, the school board, and the North Reading High School class of 2008! Today is a day that I'm sure all of us have been looking forward to. The concept of graduation, so distant when we entered North Reading High School as freshmen, is finally here. Our four years of hard work has finally paid off, and we are graduates tonight. The conclusion of our high school education brings new and exciting opportunities that we may or may not have thought of. We may be all going to different places, meeting new people, or undertaking new goals unimaginable from our lives here in North Reading. As we move on to these new challenges, it is important to acknowledge what we have accomplished. The class of 2008 has been a precedent-setting class. For the last four years, we have participated in so many great programs. We have led our teams to state championships, Cal titles, and other athletic awards. The band and chorus have faced professional MICA judges and have been highly regarded. Maskers has put on some of the finest productions, concluding with this spring show, Into the Woods. We've been members of numerous clubs such as Interact, SAD, and Eco Team that have contributed to the community. And we're really smart, too. <laughs> All of our accomplishments have been achieved because of the outstanding education provided by North Reading High School. The teachers, as well as the athletic, arts, and services advisors have led committed students towards success. They offered us the opportunity to participate in any club we desired or to take part in a sport we enjoyed playing, and we took those opportunities and excelled. The important part is that the students who ended up excelling in, the acti in their activities may or may not have intended to take part in those clubs or those sports in the first place. As an example, I had no idea I could play soccer in the fall, act in the musical during the winter, and take bar part in the marching and jazz bands all year long. You don't always intend to do the things you do, but the important thing is that we took advantage of the option to do all these activities. Finding the right thing for you is a long process that may require a lot of effort. To find your dream, you may have to try and fail hundreds of times, or in my case, six. <laughs> This is a message of success that I hope to extend to all the underclassmen here. Mr. Bernard has always told us that as seniors, we are the role models and the trendsetters of the school, and that is absolutely true. We have done our best to lead by example. As your captains, as your club presidents, we have set you all up for success. Play as many sports and participate as many clubs as you can, and make sure to enjoy yourselves. Do not limit your options because you don't know how good you are at something until you've never tried it. Make yourself students who have open minds and are willing to try new things. When you find something you love, you can hold on to it for the rest of your life. I will always be a musician, and I know people who will always sing or will always play baseball. These passions are essential to living a fulfilled life where you reach your full potential. As the first class AS of North Reading High School, I would like to congratulate all the parents and teachers of the students of the class of 2008, and thank you for the guidance and mentoring you have provided us. And to my classmates, you are the greatest group of friends I will ever know. It has taken us four years, but we finally did it. There may be no more power block. I probably won't be able to do my homework minutes before last period, and I might be able to go wherever I want without a pink slip of paper. It's the small things from North Reading I'll miss the most, and they'll remain wonderful memories to me. I know you feel just as I do, ready to take anything on, whether we go to college, the armed service, or onto any profession. 
Let's continue our education no matter where we are and make ourselves the best we can possibly be. Thank you. It is with pride and sincere appreciation for the generosity of the North Reading community that I will now present the award of scholarships to the graduates. And I would ask the graduates, as your name is called, if you would please stand to be acknowledged. The AXA Equitable Community Scholarship, Stephanie Marlin. The James R. and Barbara E. Aylward Memorial Scholarship, Jeffrey Leonard. The Nettio E. and Mary Barrasso Memorial Scholarships, Ashley Moulton and Mark Buckenevitz. The L.D. Batchelder School Scholarships, Elizabeth Short and Alyssa Tamlin Hayden. The Joseph R. Bernard Memorial Scholarship, Katie Goldstein. The Peter T. Colford Memorial Scholarship awarded by the North Reading Cultural Council, Samantha Castle. The Rose M. Collin Tone Scholarship, Derek Bross. The Ellsworth Croswell Memorial Scholarship, Stephanie Marlin. The Michael D. Giantomasso Memorial Scholarship, Allison Bitto. The Joseph Gavin Keep the Faith Scholarship, Emily Rahanimi. The Golden Age Club Scholarship, Fred Hine. The Stephen Gregory Scholarship, Joseph Burns. The Robert Hunt Memorial Scholarship, Matthew Prince. The David Jamison Memorial Scholarship, John Freiberg. The Francis L. Froughton and Mar uh, Marsha E. Costanza League of Women Voters of North Reading Educational Scholarship, Marissa Bale. The E. Ethel Little School Scholarships, Lauren Liebman and Christopher Spano. The Massachusetts Elks Scholarships, Stephanie Marlin, Timothy McAuliffe, Megan Sperry, Michael Tringali, and Rebecca Daly. The Silla Mayo Memorial Scholarship, Jennifer Vallade. The Walter Miller Scholarship, Joshua Robinson. The Michael Mitten Memorial Scholarship, Jessica Ronco. The Moynihan Lumber Scholarship, Tracy Dillon. The North Reading Community Choral Scholarships, Brian Berkowitz and Mara Guthrie. The North Reading Education Association Scholarship, Christine O'Leary. The North Reading Masonic Lodge Scholarship, James Goddard. The North Reading Moose Lodge Number 1511 Scholarship, Manon Thacker. The North Reading Music Boosters Scholarships, Brian Berkowitz, Alex Corus, Erica Diamanditas, Alex Hardy, Laura Hines, Elizabeth Holsing, Christopher Marciano, and Jason Papanicolas. The North Reading High School Parents Association Scholarship, Laura Hines. The North Reading Rotary Club Scholarship, Megan Sperry. The North Reading Youth Basketball Scholarships, Nicholas Brown and Katie Goldstein. The North Reading Youth Lacrosse Scholarships in honor of Ann Bragg and Kathy Pepe. Michael Brooks, Christine O'Leary, and Sarah Schipoletti. The North Reading Youth Soccer Board, Board of Directors Scholarship, Josh Rocco. The North Reading Youth Soccer Scholarships, John Freiberg, Kevin O'Leary, and Shannon Conway. The North Reading Youth Soccer Scholarship in memory of Janet Connolly O'Neill, Marie Pescatori. The Past Grand Night 
Frank Prusik Annual Knights of Columbus Scholarship, Kevin O'Leary. The Reading Cooperative Bank Scholarship, Richard Crisos. The Edward A. Sapienza Memorial Scholarship, Nicholas Chalmers. The Bonnie Symes Memorial Scholarship, Brandon Carrat. The James Skinner Memorial Scholarship, Erica Diamanditas. The Richard K. Smith Memorial Scholarship, Jason Papanicholas. The Thomas Walsh Memorial Scholarship, Shannon Conway. The Catherine Welsh Memorial Scholarship, Mark Buck and Evans. The following are the scholarships awarded by the Citizens Scholarship Foundation to the class of 2008. Lynn Anderson. Allison Pitto. Mark Buck and Evans. Gail Brackett. Kirsten Carboni. Nicholas Chalmers. Shannon Conway. Carissa Sia, Erica Diamanditas, Tracy Dillon, Jacqueline Damari, Amelia Dugan, John Freiberg, Mara Guthrie, Christina Harris, Laura Hines, Elizabeth Holsing, Michael Jenkins, Jeffrey Leonard, Christopher Marciano, Stephanie Marlin, Ashley Moulton, Cara Mucci, Brian O'Neill, Emily Osgood, Jason Papanicholas, Sarah Schipoletti, Christopher Spano, Megan Sperry, Alyssa Tamlin Hayden, Marissa Terese, Michael Tringali, and Caitlin Wallace. Congratulations, and again, thank you to the North Lane community. Mr. Webster and Dr. Troughton, at this time, it is my honor to present you the members of the class of 2008 for the conferring of diplomas. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Moulton. <laughs> Megan Marie Sperry. <laughs> Allison Elizabeth Bitto. Alexander Samuel Hardy. Mara Kayleen Guthrie. Jennifer Lee Valade. Nicholas Ryan Chalmers. Catherine Sarah Goldstein. Jeffrey David Leonard. Craig Martin Acconi. Amanda Elizabeth Alfin. Lynn Marie Anderson. Scott David Angelini. Marissa Constance Taft Barrel. Brian Adam Berkowitz. Yeah. 
Stephanie Ann Biagioni. Mark Lester Buckenevitz. Brian Patrick Boyd. Gail Marie Brackett. Michael James Brooks. Derek Alexander Bross. Nicholas Driscoll Brown. Scott Anthony Bruno. Tyler Allen Burgess. Joseph Anthony Burns. Aaron Lee Cameron. James Nicholas Campbell. Alexis Lynn Capozzi. Kirsten Lee Carboni. <laughs> Melanie Jean Card. Caitlin Elizabeth Carr. Brandon James Carrette. Matthew Allen Chester. Richard Charles Crisos. Brianna Marie Sincata. Lauren Kimberly Cipriano. Matthew Paul Clemens. Daniel Patrick Connors. Shannon Mary Conway. Alex Evan Corres. Robert Michael Cormier. Lindsay Ann Coriali. Dustin Michael Crowell. Kevin Thomas Kaneen. Carissa May Sear. Leslie Elizabeth Dager. Rebecca Shannon Daly. Rochelle Melinda Darcy. Lee Alexandria Davis. Jessica Ann Dempsey. Samuel James DeRosiers. Erica Marie Diamantitas. Susan Nancy DiDonato. Tracy Lynn Dillon.
Jacqueline Diana Demari. Catherine Elena Dmitriev. Peter Anthony DePietro. Lindsay McCann Dodge. Daniel Neil Doak. Timothy James Dolan. Jennifer Elizabeth Donaldson. Amelia Rose Dugan. Samantha Diane Duvall. Maraid Noel Dwyer. Dominic Jean Emilian. William Paul Felix. Brian Francis Farazani. Joseph Robert Finnegan. Brittany Owens Fitzpatrick. Scott Edward Ford. John Philip Freiburg. Megan Ann Fusco. Claire Elizabeth Gallagher. Caroline Ann Gattuso. <laughs> Melissa Ann Gentilly. <laughs> Kirsten Elise Giles. <laughs> Amanda Lee Goddard. James Lloyd Goddard. Gabrielle Marie Greco. Caitlin Elida Grotto. Madeline Harrington. Christina Francis Harris. <laughs> Philip Dwayne Hartley. <laughs> Zachary Warren Hastings. <laughs> Fred Edward Hine. Laura Jane Hines. Elizabeth Holsing. Todd Brett Eisenstadt. Michael Anthony Jenkins, Jr. Samantha Kate Castle. David Matthew Klein. Claire Alexandra Cunell. Nicole Carol Lang. Ryan Sean Larkin Birch. Lauren 
Sari Liebman. Tyler Michael Lobo. Kimberly Jean Lesh. Brendan Joseph Lutz. Matthew Justin McCauley. Brian Matthew McDonald. Chanel May Magnet. Alexandra Rose Maltesea. George Sean Mandeville. Christopher James Marciano. Stephanie Lee Marlin. Timothy Joseph McAuliffe. McNeil. Charles Anthony McPherson, Jr. Christina Marie Mello. Greg Million. John Robert Mitten. <laughs> Teresa Marie Morelli. <laughs> Kara Ann Mucci. <laughs> Carly Regina Nunn. Christine Marie O'Leary. Kevin Stephen O'Leary. Brian R. O'Neill. Lynette Minet Osborne. Emily Elizabeth Osgood. Jason Raymond Papa Nicholas. Marie Elena Pescatori. Laura Rose Pierce. Gina Marie Pinsopoulos. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Popio. <laughs> Amanda Marie Poplaski. <laughs> Matthew Michael Prince. James Puglia. Justin Thomas Clevelon. Naveed Rahman. Emily May Ryanimi. Jeffrey Paul Ramirez. Erica Rose Riccardi. Jessica Lee Richard.
Joshua Michael Robinson. Joshua Patrick Rocco. Brittany Anita Rogers. Danielle Nicole Rogers. Jessica Lynn Ronco. Ritu Scaria. Sarah Lynn Schipoletti. Ryan Michael Sexton. Jillian Elizabeth Shaw. Elizabeth Ann Short. Daniel John Silari III. Ashley Taylor Silva. Michael David Sylvia Jr. Stephen Thomas Skiffington. Erica Lynn Smith. Christopher Joseph Spano. Taylor Ryan Spencer. Matthew Lewis Spina. Amanda Stanton. Stephen John Stewart. Alyssa Ann Tamlin Hayden. Marissa Nadia Terezi. Manon Thacker. Michael Robert Tringali. Brett Robert Vieter. Claudio Vila. Ryan Arthur Visconti. Caitlin Patricia Wallace. Danielle Lee Weeks. Ryan Forrest Whalen. Daniel Roger Wilson. Casey Jacqueline Wint. Amy Catherine Wing. Rebecca Lynn Woundy. Aaliyah Paige Zimmerman. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of North Reading High School.
we'd like to make. And first and definitely foremost, we want to thank um, our fellow classmates for being the most unbelievable, awesome people in the entire universe. <laughs> We know as, that as we go on to college or the workforce or the armed forces that the class of 2008 will always share the same special bond that we have since kindergarten or since sixth grade or since the people who even just joined us in high school. And we are so thankful for everyone who's always there, whether it's to help a friend pass physics class or to help a friend through a hard time or share a pack of Mary's cookies. <laughs> Uh, we'd also like to thank the parents, uh, teachers, and faculty for leading us through these last four years of our life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, we would like to announce our class gift. The senior class of 2008's gift will be a new scorekeeper's table for the gym. It will be used for the basketball and volleyball home games. <laughs> should be very pleased with us. They've been wanting one of these for a few years now, and it will have the school emblem on the front, so we're pretty excited to put our name on that gift. And so that pretty much sums it up, and we look forward to seeing everyone at the next reunion that we plan, and don't worry, Jen, I'll do the invitations this time. <laughs> well, the class of 2008, 2008 has, has officially graduated. graduated. <laughs>